Hey everyone! For International Women's Day this year, the YLT team have put together a list of words from A to Z which we think describe what it means to be a woman. This year's global theme is hashtag choose to challenge. We have decided to honour this theme by challenging ourselves in our roles to defy bias and stereotypes. We hope you enjoy watching the video and have a think about which words you would use. Good morning everyone, I'm Tyler Ray, one of your head girls, and one word that I would describe women as, beginning with an A, is aspirational. There are many women in the past and in the present who have accomplished great things, and I believe that there will also be many in the future if we all aspire to do the same. One of my aspirations for the next year as head girl is to implement new and improved activities within the school to help make it an even better community. I hope you all have an amazing International Women's Day. Hi, I'm Freya, your head girl, and the word that comes to my mind when I think about women is brave. Over the next year, I hope to make sure that you can all have lots of fun and that all your ideas become actions so that we can improve the school for everyone. Hi, my name is Daisy and I'm one of your deputy head girls. A word I would use to describe women is courageous and my goal for the next year is to create a better sense of community within Sydenham High. Hi, my name is Ellie and I'm one of the deputy head girls. The letter I was given was D, so I've decided on the word determined. And the goal I'd like to achieve by next year is to overcome my public speaking fear by growing confidence. Hi, my name is Ty Forrester and I'm one of the new heads of Stanley House. I think that women are energetic. This links to my role because I need to be energetic just like Esme is so that we can have our house spirit thrive. Hello, my name is Esme and I'm one of the Stanley House leaders and a word I would use to describe being a woman is fierce and by next year I would like to bring the house spirit back to Sydney. Hi, my name is Abby and I'm one of the Grey House leaders. The word I chose for defining what a woman is for this assembly is great and that's because I think that can just define what women are. And this links to my role in YLT as Grey House leader because my house is great. Hello, I hope you're all well and excited about coming back to school. My name is Caroline and I'm one of the Grey House leaders with Abby. I think that one of the most important attributes any person or leader can have is honesty. The best leaders, in my opinion, are those that are honest with themselves and others. I hope that in my role, I can be honest with you about my own strengths and weaknesses and that you know by recognising, learning from and wanting to improve your weaknesses can in fact be your greatest strength. Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm one of the Sheriff House leaders with Ellen. The letter I've been given is the letter I and I think the word that comes to mind in relation to women is inspirational. My goal this year is to inspire as many of you as possible and make the activities fun and enjoyable. Hi, I'm Ellen, I'm the Sheriff House leader with Sophie. The letter I've been given is J, and I think, for me, the best way to describe being a woman with the letter J is joyful. My goal for this year is to be optimistic and joyful throughout the year, even during COVID. Thank you. Hi, I'm Olympia and I'm one of your Gurney House Captains, and if I had to describe being a woman in any way, it would be being knowledgeable. And my goal this year is to try and just make house events more fun and interesting so we can all enjoy them again. Hi, I'm Astrid and I'm one of Gurney's House Leaders. For my letter, I've chosen the word limitless. And in my role, I would like to bring back some of the excitement to house events and provide advice and guidance to any of the younger years. Hello everyone, my name is Martha and I'm one of your three new eco prefects for this year. For me, being a woman is all about movement. Throughout history, we have proven that we can generate meaningful and necessary change with motivation and a determined mindset. So today on International Women's Day, let's hashtag choose to challenge the accepted and inspire movement towards equality among all genders, whatever you identify with. Hi, my name is Daisy and I'm one of the eco prefects. I would describe women as noteworthy and a goal I want to set myself for the end of the year 
is to make the school a more eco-friendly place to be by turning small steps into big changes to help the environment and climate as much as we can. Hi, I'm Alice Dutton. I am one of the eco prefects at secondary school and I think women are outstanding and I hope to do outstanding work with the other prefects for the environment. Hi, I'm Jess, I'm one of your charity prefects, and for my letter P, I would say women are persevering. My aims for this role are to get everyone really involved in charity events and also raise awareness for what all your contributions are doing for these people who are in need. Hi, I'm Eleanor, I'm one of your charity prefects for this year, and my word is quality because I think that the quality of work that women can produce is so great. And my goal for this year is to be able to raise as much money for charity as possible. Hi, I'm Minera. I'm one of the charity prefects. My letters are, and I believe being a woman also means to be resilient. My main aim in my role is to ensure that as a school, with the money we raise, it's used in the most effective and sustainable way in order to help make a big difference for the charities we choose to fundraise for. Hey everyone, my name is Lucy and I'm one of your diversity and inclusion prefects. The word that comes to mind when describing women is strong. And my main goal as diversity and inclusion prefect is to create a safe and healthy environment for everyone. And I really hope you guys can come to me for advice. Hi all, my name's Mia and I'm also one of your diversity and inclusion prefects. A word that comes to mind to me when describing women is thriving. My goal as a diversity and inclusion prefect is to improve accessibility for everyone at Sydenham so that we can all thrive. I look forward to working with all of you in the future. My name is Khadija and a word I think of when I think of women is unique. Um, in my role this year, I want to expand people's horizons and opinions. My name is Charlotte, I am the Year 11 Yearling Prefect and my aim within the role is to help the Year 11s feel more comfortable and relaxed in their final GCSE year and also work together with the other Yearling Prefects to help to connect the different years. My letter is V and I chose the word vulnerable as I believe that there is strength in vulnerability. Hi, I'm Aoife, the Year 7 Yearlink Prefect. For the letter W, I believe that women are wise. In my role, I aim to make sure that the youngest members of the senior school know that they have a voice. Hi, my name's Hannah and I'm the Year 9 Link Prefect. For the letter X, I've chosen the word Zena, which means mighty, confident and strong. As a Yearlink Prefect, I want to make sure that the school feels better connected and that students feel confident and strong in their school lives. Hi guys, I'm Emily and I'm your Year 8 Yearling Prefect. The word that came to mind when thinking about words that embody women that begin with the letter Y was you. Throughout my time in this role for the next year, I really want to ensure that you guys know and feel as though your opinions and thoughts are heard. So for Year 8, I want to be the person that can be that branch to the Young Leadership team to communicate those ideas. Hi, I'm Maddie, the Year 10 Yearling Prefect. For the letter Z, I believe women are zealous and my aim within my role is to further connect the year groups together in order to give support to the year 10s in their important GCSE years. We hope you enjoyed this assembly and set yourself a goal you want to achieve by next International Women's Day. We hope you take this week to reflect on the important role that women play in your life every day. Thank you.